Namaste people from the top of the world Nepal. This is me Puskar and I'm here with a new video under Facts of Nepal series from Troopers. Troopers, a travel company based in Kathmandu, helps provide information about the beautiful country Nepal and arranges the various kind of journey it's per your requirement across the country. Today, I'm going to talk about the national heroes of Nepal. National hero of Nepal is the list of Nepali people, including those from ancient time who were selected by government commission on the basis of their contribution to the nation. The title national heroes of Nepal is only offered posthumously and is not a regular title or award. I will be talking about six such Nepali heroes in this episode and the other in the coming videos. So let's begin the discussion without further ado. Number one, King Janak. King Janak was the historic king of ancient kingdom Bidhya, also known as Mithila, which at present lies in the eastern part of Nepal at Janakpur and the places around. He was the ruler and the sage at the same time, hence known as Rajasri. Even though he was a king and had access to all the luxuries and pleasures he could ever want, he was not interested in any of them, rather his interest was in his spirituality. King Zanak was the most benevolent, religious and learned king whose kingdom is believed to be one of the best platform for academicians at that time to have frequent seminars, conferences and intellectual summits. He was believed to be the king and philosophical guidance to the people and is one of the hero born in the land of Nepal. Number 2. Sita Sita is the manifestation of Goddess Lakshmi and a daughter of Mother Earth. She was not born but found by King Zanak of Mithila while plowing the field who raised her as a daughter and later married to Lord Ram. Her abduction by the demon king Rama and the subsequent rescue are the central incident in the great Hindu epic Ramayana. Sita is symbolized as the embodiment of wifely devotion and self-sacrifice. Number 3. Gautam Buddha Born in Lumini of Nepal, Gautam Buddha was a sage on whose teaching Buddhism was founded. He was born in a royal family but he renounced his princely title and luxury and become a monk depriving himself of worldly possession, seeking the answer of human suffering. After years of meditation, he attained enlightenment, thus he became the Buddha, the enlightened one or the awakened one. He spent years traveling and preaching knowledge with a group of disciples about four noble truths and eightfold paths. His principles are more useful in present day society as it focuses on lasting peace and promote tolerance. Number 4. Amsu Burma. Amsu Burma was a skillful, brave and far-sighted ruler during the Lichabi period in the history of Nepal. During his period, Nepali art and architecture reached its height. He built the Kailaskut Bhavan, which is believed to be a great example of excellent architecture. He arranged his daughter's marriage, Brikuti, to the Tibetan king Srongchong Gampo and his sister Boga Devi to an Indian king Sursen. As a result, established a friendly relationship with both the neighboring countries. His foreign policy was successful to maintain the independence and sovereignty of the country. Also, his daughter Brikuti was instrumental in spreading Buddhism in Tibet. King Amsu Burma is a national hero who developed Nepal in many ways and has a great contribution in the field of trade and economy of Nepal. Amsu Burma's regime became a boon to the Lichabi period so that it came to be called a golden age in the history of Nepal. Number 5. Sankhadar Sakwa Sankhadar Sakwa was a legendary Nepali philanthropist who settled all the debts of local people of Kathmandu Valley in 879 AD using the gold pan from the sand of Bishnumati river. This event is commemorated as the beginning of brand new era known as Nepal Sambad. Number 6. Araniko Born and raised in Kathmandu, Arniko was the great architect of Nepal who spread the Nepali art and craft to various parts of China. It is believed that pagoda style of Nepal was spread across the world because of him when he brought the design to the court of Kublai Khan in late 13th century. Most of the Arniko's work are found in China and includes notable masterpieces of monasteries, Buddhist stupas, temples and shrines along with the fine paintings of emperor families. He is known as Balabahu Araniko in Nepal. With this, I come to the end of the list for today's episode. And I will be continuing the remaining in the coming episode. I hope you got some information about the national heroes of Nepal. I will be back again the next week. So keep in touch with us. And lastly, I request you to like, share and comment on the video. Thank you for watching till the end. Dhanyavad.